Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today, we are going gnome hunting in the Weirding Woods. Of course, uh, we have been exploring this area quite a lot recently because we're trying to 100% complete it, and uh, we are going to uh, make the gnomes visible right here on the map. Uh, we have a selection of different golden and diamond gnomes to find. Uh, we haven't been revealed the diamond gnomes yet. It seems I don't see them on the map at all. I thought that that was something that it would reveal right away. I thought that we found them already, which I have not. I mean, maybe it doesn't reveal the diamond gnomes to begin with. I don't know, but our main goal is to find the golden golden gnomes. If we can find the diamond gnomes along the way, that would be awesome. But let's get started with the golden ones. Now, there's a couple of them I've like had the opportunity to maybe find, but I decided not to, because I want to do them all in today's episode, or as many as I can in today's episode. Uh. And that's where I'm sort of just trying to figure things out. As you can see, there's supposed to be one around here, and we are gonna find it. It might be something we have to chase around. That is definitely a possibility. I might wanna play a character that can jump up on top of things a little bit easier, but... Okay, there's a chest up here. Hmm. <laughs> We're already stuck on the first one, oh no. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I sort of have to do in today's episode, just sort of chip away at this stuff. There's another one right over here, so we can try this one. This one's just this pie on the windowsill. If I eat the pie, a golden gnome will appear, and I can pick up the golden gnome as easy as that. I wish they were all that easy. <laughs> um, hmm. What was that noise? Was that the all-star just screaming? I'm trying to look around, just sort of see anything that might be obvious, but I'm not quite seeing it. Hmm. Anything up there? Aha, here we go. I found the button. And where is it? It's right here. A golden gnome has appeared. Thank you very much. That's what we need to find is little doodads like that. Now I know that there was a very interesting one over this way. Um, the very first Reading Woods episode of one of them, we had actually stumbled upon this, but I never solved it because I ran out of time and I wanted to showcase it, the solution to you guys here. Um, or at least, I think. Oh, there's a button, okay. Well, there's that one, but I think this is the location of the first diamond gnome. We've actually, like I said, we've gone into here, and what this is, I don't know what that is. Um, if you don't remember, if you didn't see that episode, this is actually a puzzle. Um, it is commonly referred to as Picross, um, P-I-C-R-O-S-S. -S. It's a type of puzzle game, sort of like Sudoku in a way. Um, also, it's different, but I'll explain some of the rules now, just in case you're totally lost on this one. Um, but as you can see, there's a grid, and there are different green dots, but on the side, there are these little, like, digits right here. Divots, digits, you know what I mean. Uh, we're going to mentally replace these with numbers. So if there's only one dot here, that's we'll just replace that with a one, and three, and when there's nothing, it's zero. So what that means is, say there's a zero here, that means it's saying that there is zero one of these dots, like I just did that, that's wrong. I don't know how to undo, okay, there you go. So that means that none of these are lit up, none of these are lit up. So you sort of have to work with the rules. It's saying that there's three lit up down here, but only one horizontally each time. Well, we know they can't be any right here, so it has to be one, two, and three. And there we go. As you can see, that works. And over this way, sort of the same deal. We know that there'll be one dot down this way, but it cannot be here, because we know this is zero. But it could be here, because there's one, but we don't know that for a fact. If we set this up, then it might m mess it up, because we definitely need one here, you know? So you have to work with what you know for a fact, which right now is that there's going to be guaranteed one on each of these, because there's three for three, and obviously none can be here, so it's probably gonna be like that, and there we go. And you sort of have to get used to that kind of su style of puzzle solving. Um, one thing, also a big thing to note, um, with Picross is that there's sort of like an unspoken rule that like, okay, there's two and one. You'd think, okay, one, two, and then one. Nope, it doesn't work that way. If there are two separate numbers, there has to be at least one space between them. So the only possible uh, thing we can do here is one, two, space, one, because you can't flip them either. Um, it has to go in that order. So I hope that makes sense, uh, uh, and we'll just keep chipping through this. So this one is three, and obviously there's four spaces here, so we can't definitively say which one it's going to be at and which one it's not. But what we can do is sort of work once, once again with what we know. There's only two possible ways this could be set up, either one, two, three, or one, two, three. Both of those have a similarity, which is these two pieces. And there we go. So that means this is already solved, because that's that one here, and this one's already solved. 
Um, so actually, we already know that there cannot possibly be one right here. So it has to be there. And that also means that one of these is solved. And this is where it can get a bit complicated. So this is solved, this is solved, this is half solved, and this is half solved, because we need one and one. Um, so it can't, this two, once again, has to be next to this one. It can't be like that. Like that would be one and one, that wouldn't be two. So it has to be either here or here. And there's already something, this one's already solved. And usually in most Picross games, you know, they allow you to cross out the ones for a fact, you know, can't work. Obviously here that doesn't really apply. Anyways, it's gonna be right there. But since I've explained the rules and you know it gets a little more nuanced, this one's obviously a lot more complicated um, and will take me a second. Um, I, I'm not very good at this when it comes to solving it without crossing things out. So I'm tempted to write this all down and solve it that way because I do think it's the same every time. So if you're watching this, you should be able to. But if you're having a hard time visualizing, I definitely suggest getting a grid paper. Remember to replace the dots with numbers if that makes it easier for you. But this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, an eight by eight. So pretty simple. You know, I usually, like, I, I just have some apps on my phone where I solve some of these. Um, and sometimes they get pretty big. They're like 20 by 20. They get really ridiculous. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would, okay, this one's five, six, and seven, okay. Hmm. So I might, like I said, go and write this all down so that I can solve it on just paper, and then I'll go and apply that to the game. Okay, so this should be the last one. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so hopefully you guys get a good look at that. Um, I tried to stay on it for a second. Um, but yeah, that was pretty good, I think. Uh, a diamond gnome has appeared somewhere. Uh, here, okay, we got it. Boom, diamond gnome collected. 1,100 experience for that. That's pretty cool to get a diamond gnome already. And if we take a look at our weirding woods, um, we can start figuring out some other things. So, got some over there. Maybe I'll go over to this one by the well and try to figure that one out now. That took me a little bit just because I had to write it down. And when I'm running it down, actually maybe I should have gone the other way because it looks like there might have been another way to wrap around. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. But um, when you write it down, you gotta really make sure you don't make any mistakes, especially if you're writing in pen. Okay, so it looks like I already got that chest because if you do, then you gotta do the whole thing over. <laughs> so I made extra sure I didn't do that uh, or make any mistakes, I used a pen. Um, and also using a pen is very tough with hooves. Let me tell you, my handwriting or hoof writing is awful. <laughs> But you know, it's always been that way. Okay, so, oh, hello. Uh, if you are very close, I know we haven't gotten you either. So it would be perfect if my aim wasn't awful to get you because, oh man, you're gonna get away, aren't you? They always do. Um, it would be awesome to get you because the, the thing's right over here. Where are you going? Come back here, come back here. Okay, that's lots of diamonds. The tough thing about the, the, the Diamond Marigold is that she's so much smaller than the Yeti. No, 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 don't leave. Gotcha, but not enough. Gotcha, okay, good, good, good. So let's get rid of everybody else around here really quickly, if nobody minds. There we go. Also, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have actually earned up a lot of marshmallows here since the last time I was here. We have 1,245 of them. But yeah, perfect time that I'm able to get the uh, Crystal Dog, because we can bring this little pup all the way to the well, which is where the Golden Gnome should be. Hopefully there's no enemies to beat me up. Oh, I know what this is. It is this, which is why we have a lot of marshmallows, so that we can put them here. I'll do that in a moment. I don't know what it's gonna do, but for right now, I haven't done that for this one. Wow, my very own Crystal Dog. Here's a reward for all of your hard work. Oh no, oh hey, while you're out there, feel free to bring me any non-broken Crystal Dogs you find. Okay, so he broke it, but more than that, we should get a medal for that. No, maybe, oh, there it goes, pretty well. Okay, so with that done, what is this? Roast 100 marshmallows, okay. All right, that does it. I thought there was gonna be like a battle or something. Golden gnome collected. Awesome, <laughs> thought I was gonna summon something. I was a little worried. Uh, so now we gotta get over this way. Okay, so over here, what do we got going on? Um, hmm. You sense a faint gnomish energy. Where exactly? Not in the trash can. Maybe there's a button somewhere around. Most likely, that's typically the deal with these. 
So where could that button be? Ah, oh, okay. Okay, watch it. I'm, I'm busy here. I do not quite see a button yet, but that doesn't mean there's not one. I feel like it's gonna be over here. This is like with the most stuff, you know? It sounds like something is like hissing though. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's not here, maybe it's down here. Uh, I don't see anything. Let's get these two out of the way. Hmm. I am not quite sure. Oh, oh, okay, there it is. Way down there. Where is it? Oh, it's a Nomalith. Also, I changed the soldier, not intentionally. I was just, oh, it's one of these. Where's the next one then? Way over this way. Okay, so we need to make this match up. We've done this before. Is there others around too, or is it just these two Nomaliths? Because if so, we all we have to do is just make this symbol match. So what do they have in common? Uh, rain cloud, the boot, the boot's in common, okay. So if we make these match up with the boot over here, got it. And is that gonna be our golden gnome? You bet it is, awesome, Also, awesome. Before we do it, I wanna see if this adds to our experience bulb. We're at 688. Oh, it does, very nice. Okay, that's a nice way to earn through it then. Um, see, now we gotta go down this way. But yeah, I was, I had the respawn because I kept on hearing this weird like, like a hissing noise, like as if something was leaking air, and then I respawned and it went away, which is really bothering me. But anyways, we're gonna dodge a lot of these guys if I can, just because they're sort of annoying me. But I know the sunflower is gonna hunt me down, so I might as well get rid of her. But, way up there, okay. The question is, how do I get up there? I see it. Uh Oh, did that count? That counted, cool. All right, there we go. We got a golden gnome. Now if we take a look at the next one on the map, there should be one slightly down a bit. Apparently a little bit this way. Okay. Sorry if my voice is a little tired today. <laughs> so there's a faint gnomish energy, which means we need to seek it out. It might be up here. Can I get up here? I can indeed, but it's just an area for a chest. Okay. So what could it be? Any kind of switch around? That's what we're gonna look for. Who's attacking me? Please stop. You. Okay, dude, <laughs> what are you doing? He doesn't wanna deal with me, but he wants to attack me. What's with that? Hmm. I have these two crates here, but that's not gonna be it. So I, I, I might be missing it. Outhouse, better than digging a hole, that is for sure. Can I open the outhouse? Nope. One, what, what does it say? One tree, two, outhouse. Is that a sign? I mean, it's literally a sign, yes. But is that like a hint? I don't think so. Um, what? 16, what is that about? 16, there's, there's hints here that I don't understand. Okay, this one's a little odd. Oh, oh, okay, it was up here. A Nomalith has appeared, oh boy. What will this Nomalith be about? Um, feeding him 10 marshmallows, luckily I have plenty to spare. Nomalith, oh man, reached the gold platform? All right, hold on. Got that, where do I go next? Over this way. I don't know if this was a good idea to do as a soldier, but we're trying it. Got it. Over this way, whoa. What, what? Oh, 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 made it! Cool, now where? Now where? Uh, here, got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nice, nice, uh, uh, ooh, I made it! Now where? Um, okay, this way, ah! I made it! <laughs> this is just, it just pops up all so fast! Oh! Oh gosh, okay, I gotta. Whoop. Okay, 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 we can get that. Thank you. And that's it, we did it! All right, Gnome with complete, bring it on, Gnome. So that's another prize bulb for us. First one of today. Uh, along with it, we can move to the next golden gnome, which is going to be over this way. So we're making some pretty good progress today. I'm happy with it. 10,000 coins. That's nice. I guess just for doing that Nomaleth. 
And we got 25 marshmallows. Either that or for the metal. I'm not really sure which one. By the way, we made our marshmallows back. We had to pay 10 marshmallows to even try that. So I'm glad that we were able to actually make the investment pack. Whatever marshmallows we have left over at the end of today's episode, after we get everything, I think I'll be able to spend on on just free coins, I think. I might be wrong. Anyways, we'll beat that up. Get some marshmallows for it. And somewhere over here. Also beat these guys up a little bit too. Just because I might as well for the easy experience, right? Hopefully it is actually easy. I mean, we still have a while to go, but we'll, we'll just keep working on it. Uh, so what's going on here? A gnomish energy. It's supposed to be here. A marigold is near. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, the music here is always so like intense, a little creepy. I'm trying to find where there might be a button or something like it. Because uh, that's typically the case. In this situation, there's a button somewhere, somehow. Oh, there it is. And it will be another Nomolith. What will this one require? 10 marshmallows. What's gonna happen? Oh, uh, Nomolith activated. Vanquish award time. Vanquish is award time. Okay, so the more I vanquish you guys, the more time I'll get, which is great because I need more time. Okay, let's get this guy first then. Ooh, throw the smoke cloud down. That missed. Great. Gotcha. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. 50 seconds. Where are the other guys at? Uh, down here, I guess. No? Where are the other gnomes? I need the gnomes. Is it, do I just vanquish anybody now? Oh no, they're down this way, okay. Why are they down here? I'm running out of time. Whoa, whoa, I wasn't expecting to float around like that. Ow, 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 come on. I'm glad the zombies helped though, that's nice. Got it. Um. Gotcha. And now these guys, oh there's a lot of them. Throw the smoke cloud on them, it should do at least some damage and that will help. Don't get vanquished though, if we get vanquished it might go all over. Okay, uh, uh, I got one with that. We have time but we don't have health, oh no. Darn, I think I might wanna change, oh no I still have time, I still have time, okay. That's good. Then I can deal with you guys no problem. If you don't dodge my attacks at us, come on. I still have time. Can you stop moving around? I don't appreciate that you're good at the game. <laughs> Got it. So just work on the gnomes and their impeccable aim. Level three achieved. This guy's shield is almost done. Throw the cloud over. It missed them, but if they ever go over there, they'll, they're, they're gonna get hurt. So I'm trying to hit him on his side a little bit because it actually does miss the thing. There we go, we got them all. Awesome. So that should give us Golden Gnome once we, wait, no, 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 no. Gnome Champion's coming in. Where's that? Will this give us more time as if we beat up these guys? It will, okay. I need to take advantage of that. That's the Gnome Champion over here. Oh, this is stressful. I really wish I was playing All-Star. I don't know if it'll give me the option to change though. Uh, okay, where is he, where is he? He's right here. I'm going to get you. That was good. Throw down the clouds. And if we just go at you full force, it might be enough, but my aim is awful. Where are you going? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, get him, get him, get him. We're running low on time now, so it might be worth it to turn around and focus on some other guys really quickly. No, come on, come on, come on. Can I change characters? Well, give me the option. Change character, I wanna change to All-Star real quick. Or Super Brains, it'd be even better. Okay, where are they? They're over here, I gotta do this quick because I'm about to run out of time. Get him. Ooh, let's go to punching. And super ultra balls and everything. That's some extra time right there. Excellent. Oh no you don't. Oh yes you do. <laughs> okay, get these guys first then if I have to, or not. Dude, this is not fair. Boom. Spin. Just get him, come on, come on, get back here. Stop outrunning my spin. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Come on, we can get him. 18 seconds, plenty of time, plenty of time. Yeah, it would be if you get back here. Don't you vanquish me, thank you, no more than complete. Okay, where's where where am I? <laughs> I'm getting all turned around now. I need to go get it. 
So once again, we did get a return on our investment of uh, marshmallows, so that's good. I feel like I keep on calling the mushrooms and not realizing it, but I don't know if that's the case. Okay, so Golden Gnome collected with that one. And we can move to the next one over here. We'll warp home. That'll make it a little bit quicker. And let's find out. Where exactly is this? It's over here, okay. <laughs> Changed its mind. So is it inside or outside? I don't know what this does. Hmm. There must be another button around. I don't quite see one. It's not like on a platform up in the air. I mean, maybe it's actually inside of here and I just didn't see it, or the button, or whatever. It's hard to tell, it's sort of riding the line of being outside. I think it's outside, it's just then, where is the button? Oh, oh, oh right there, right there. Hiding in plain sight. Got it. Pretty easy one, actually, okay. So there is that done. Back into the headquarters. We are going to check out this next one. Apparently, oh, I hit the ceiling over here somewhere. Oh, is it actually, it's just standing right there, okay. How'd I miss this one? Thank you very much. <laughs> Hanging out with all the uh, candles and stuff. Very moody. Then we get to do this one, which is still that way, but we gotta go around. Oh, hi guys, Um, be gone. Oh, actually, you have three acorns on top of you. This would be great experience if it works out. I don't know if it will, though. There we go, come on. Now get your acorn friends. Wow, that actually, that worked out great. Decent experience there, for sure. Getting closer to this next prize bulb. Okay, so over this way, once again, a whole host of enemies. And I hit none of them. <laughs> come on. So where is this golden gnome? If I had to guess, okay, right over here. And a gnomolith is popping up. Three twin sun, not twin sunflowers, what am I talking about? Uh, pink sunflowers. Uh, where's the gnomolith? Did I miss it? Okay, let's get rid of all these enemies that are making this difficult for me, like you. Okay, going for you. Come on, that's one. It's a plant champion, it's not a special champion though, so it won't be a metal or anything. But it'll be good to get rid of you. Come on. And there's another set of guys over this way. Ah! Boom! <laughs> that was weird. That was very weird. Come on. Got it. And gotcha. There's just more of them keep popping up. This is never gonna end. So what's going on with this? Um, I guess it must have just popped up right there and I missed it, yeah, because of all the action. Um, I'm gonna feed this 10. What do we gotta do? No with activated. Detonations allowed. Excuse me? Keep bombs out. Oh no, I feel like I should have played as a... Oh, are they fighting the plants? Ooh, nice. Hey, no. Uh, well I don't like this. I mean, I don't have to stay in the circle. Okay, now they're back to attacking me. They really vanquished that gnome for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, ready, boom, punch him. Oh no, they're coming in now, in larger numbers. Oh, I don't like it. We still have a minute and 20 seconds to survive, so makes me very, very uncomfortable. They're really just fighting off of those gnomes. That really helps me, it shows you. That's very interesting. That it really is plants versus zombies versus gnomes, you know? Nobody likes the gnomes. We have a common enemy, and that to me is very interesting. Oh no, did that detonate? Oh, come on, no you don't, you stinker. You are a stinker. Okay, but if you come down here and start picking a fight with me, then we're gonna have a problem. I have 54 seconds to survive here. 50 seconds. Okay, here come a couple. You know what to do. Hit him with that, start spinning on him, start spinning on them. There we go. I don't know what happened in the last one. 38 seconds. Okay, Cactus, I might have to get rid of you. I'm sorry. Here comes one over that way, and then a couple over here. Boom. Got him, okay, excellent. 20 seconds remaining. Things can go so bad so fast, though, is the problem. They're still fighting that guy up there. That's wonderful. 
Who's gonna win? Oh no, are the cat are the cactus is losing? Cacti? Okay, let's get this guy first. Got him, and then boom, and that's it! We did it, Gnomolith complete! Let's get that gnome. Another 10,000 coins for us, a pretty easy way to earn money is doing all these, pretty nice. Um, so, what is next? Nothing over here, instead we gotta go down this way. So let's warp home for now, just because it would be a slightly shorter walk. And now I gotta go this way, okay. I'm having a lot of fun with this. So far it hasn't been too bad. Especially with all the extra marshmallows, it makes it sort of a little lax. I don't have to worry about it as much, like oh gosh, I don't wanna lose all my marshmallows, like I was with the tacos in town center. That was sort of a bit of a problem. Hi guys, I'm leaving. Ready, whoop. Where exactly are we going? Oh, in here, okay. So what is needed of me in here? Up this way? Oh, did I pass it? I suppose I did. It's up there. Uh. Indeed it is. Not only is it sneakily up here, it's super sneakily up here. It's just like, finding y your way up here isn't the secret, you know, that's weird. Uh, next up is one down this way. We're at 19 out of 27, so less than 10 to go. Eight to go, specifically. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you can see our collection so far. We're getting there, that's for sure. But I swear that with Town Center, they showed us the, the, the where the diamond gnomes were, but in this one they haven't. I don't know why that is. But I guess we'll just have to find them ourselves. Um, so what's going on with this? Faint gnomish energy, so there's going to be a button somewhere. Where exactly, though? We're looking for the color red, because the button, of course, is always red. Hopefully that makes it easier. Maybe up here? Nope, can't actually sort of go up here. But it does give me a nice vantage point. Hmm. Ah, stop that. <laughs> Rude. I know this isn't the button. This activates the thing that launches you. Oh, over there, over there, over there, okay. I can't quite get that from here from as a super brains. Uh, this is a silly idea, but if it works, it works, right? Uh, oh, it won't let me attack like that? Okay, I'll have to change it like super brain, or not super, so, soldier. Uh, there we go. Oh, where are we? Oh, we're on the other side. Oh, is that, that that's fine, that's fine. We, we can launch ourselves from here. I got worried for a moment. I was like, do I have to go all the way the long way around? Ooh. Got it. And that should make a gnomolith. Oh, okay, it's doing these. So what is the most common thing? Rain cloud, flower pot, fork, and flower pot. Over this way, we got the fork. Fences. So that matches, but what else are we matching this with? Is there stuff over there? Is there stuff over here? T typically, well actually, it depends on where the diamond is. So there's something down that way. So we'll have to see what the commonalities are over that way. Get up like this, and let's launch it. it that didn't work. Okay, there we go, just took a second. This one's gonna be a bit of a pain just to remember them. Oh, that worked, but that didn't. Oh, oh, but that did, okay, that was very fortunate. <laughs> very, very fortunate. So Golden Gnome has appeared. We will go over there and try to get it, or where is it? I I'm guessing it's gonna, yeah, pop up where the, wherever the map said it will. Wee! Okay, grab that one, and we are getting closer to the next prize bulb. What is next? Over this way. Okay, so I see where it's supposed to be. Is it just chilling up there, or do we need to do something? I wanna get these real quick, and then we will find out. Uh, I didn't see it. You sense a faint gnomish energy. Okay, so let me actually try that again whenever my thing reloads. Oh gosh, stop, please. Why, what did I do to you? Oh, that's the button, right there. Okay, a golden gnome has appeared. Right here, awesome. So that that is it. Um, I know we're gonna beat up. Next golden gnome, over this way. What's the deal with this one? Um, dig. 
Oh no, I'm gonna get attacked. Oh, I'm gonna get attacked. Ah! Ow. Just keep digging, just keep digging. Just keep digging. Can I attack while I'm digging? I can attack while I'm digging, nice. Okay, then we know what to do. Wait. Oh, there it goes, Golden, that was it, okay. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't bad. Um, next up, there should be one right over here. We're just going back to back to back. It's another faint Gnomish Energy one. No digging for this one, so we will have to dig around for a button to press. Huh. Where could this one be? Plenty of options on where to look around. Hmm. There's a lot of red around here, and like brownish red with the bricks, so it's not as easy to just point things out. But it might just be that I have to get to a different position and break a couple of boxes. Cause that's sort of something I've realized a lot, is that with a lot of these button pressing ones, you not only need to see it from a specific angle, you gotta, you gotta be standing at like a specific angle to just even be able to get there and like see it and hit it. Oh, okay, here it is. After just go getting desperate and looking around, I finally found it. And it's right there, so. Feed Nomalith. Oh boy. Oh, okay, Nomalith activated, shoot gnomes only. Oh no, oh I remember, I remember. I thought it was saying only shoot the gnomes. No, it's saying destroy only this guy. Just only destroy the shooting gnomes. Got him. But where is the next one? Is that it? That is not it. Let's get you quick before you're part of the pack. Dang it! Come on. Ow, yeah, 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 I know. Okay, this guy's getting a little separated, which is perfect for us. Uh, oh, he got me. Come on. Uh, 14 seconds remain. Actually, having this height advantage, I don't know if this helps or not. It actually doesn't seem like it does. Oh, they're separating, they're separating, because the other guys will keep moving around while the other ones are just trying to stay and shoot, because they're shooting us, that's what they do. Come on, come on, come on! No, 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 reloading at the worst possible time! Come on, soldier, really? Really? Ah, there goes 10 marshmallows. It's fine, we have over 1,000, right? Yep, we have 1,242. Okay, come on. I got it this time. Before I lost some time just to not being prepared or understanding what was going on, I can get you right away this time. Get a lot of shots on you before your friends even get over to you. Just like that, reload quick, and then be ready for them to pop up right here. Uh, that sort of kind of got him, and then I'm going to get vanquished. That's okay. Because I will just start trying to vanquish him again. I don't get any bonus time for doing that though, for vanquishing one of the shooting gnomes. Okay, out of my way, out of my way. I know I'm in the last 10 seconds. Reload now, reload now. Don't get vanquished. Got him, okay. Now what? Uh, 38 seconds to get these three guys. Come on. Yes, okay, and I didn't get one of these guys. Excellent. Got him. It's just this last one. It's, it's much more difficult when it's just one of them because then the uh, shield gnomes know what to focus on. Move, 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 move. Stop. You guys are too good at this game. Okay, okay, come on. I'm almost there, almost there. Come on, respawn quick, respawn quick. No, 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 no. Got him, okay, no Malith complete. That was intense. No sweat, I don't know about that. 10,000 coins granted and probably another 25 marshmallows. We at least made five marshmallows worth of profit. Hmm. So we only have two more gnomes left to go? Two more golden gnomes, and then two more, yeah, that would make sense, two more diamond gnomes after that. Okay, well, we'll move this way then. Try to figure this one out, 25 marshmallows collected. And where, oh hi guys, exactly is this golden gnome? Apparently over here? Don't quite see it yet. Yeah, it's sort of leading me astray. It's over there. Or is it? Oh, I think it's up in the air. Right? I don't know. It's very, okay. It's very confused. It's over here, but what do I got to do to get to it? I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Ow. Stop. 
I mean, I might have to just go get super brains because sometimes he can make some pretty gnarly jumps. Oh no, we could just go up here. Okay, no big deal. As long as that guy doesn't attack me again. Oh no, oh, oh, I made it, I made it. And it's just chilling out up here with the toilet paper. Golden gnome collected. Next up, way down this way. What's going on with this one? Oh uh, no, it's protected by one of these. We gotta go and uh, turn on the, the boom box. All right, I'm gonna go do that then. Okay, so now I should be able to attack it. Perfect. And let's go in. So I guess I must have missed this one before, but I've got it now. And will this be more than a, oh yeah, well actually we did go into this for a, yeah, we went into this for a uh, chest at some point. We didn't do anything more. So now I gotta figure this out a little bit. What could it be? And obviously there has to be a button somewhere around here. Oh, 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 right there. No, no, wrong button. <laughs> wrong type of button. That activates the little launch pad, which is cool and everything. But now what I'm out here to do. Uh, hmm. Well, let's go up there for now. Of course, we've been up there to get to a, a chest. But there might be more up there that I've missed out on. So that brings us up here. And from here, I know there was a chest one way. No wait, I don't have the rocket jump. I thought I did, I'm a dingus. I'm a total dingus, I thought I had it. So I jumped and was expecting it to start, and it didn't. Okay, that's fine. We'll just get right back up there. It gives you some time to get all the way around. And got it. So I guess the way you're supposed to do this is just jump across like that. And I think over this way there was, yeah, a chest hidden up there, which we've already gotten. So now we get to figure out what this is about. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use rocket jump there. And then this is a bit of a scary jump, but we made it. Not bad. Aha, there's that button. And that makes the gnome pop up. Why is there two? There's two things. Oh, there's several things. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Then what is this about? The diamond gnome. How do I get you? I don't, oh, oh, okay, just getting here. Okay, I'm oh, glad that, that was the easiest diamond gnome yet in the entire game. Um, I think this golden gnome might be a bit more of a challenge. And that was a prize bulb, awesome. So of course, this is one of the matchup ones. So this one seems pretty complicated because there's a number of ones we have to match up with. So this has plant pot, fence, fork, Glove, so I think over this way, I already see the fence, and this is already matching up with something over that way. I don't even see what it's matching up with. Uh, but we'll leave that be for now, because I know for a fact we can match up the fence here, and that's a glove. Does this one have a glove? It doesn't, so we need to reconfigure this already. So what does it have? It does have a fence. And that'll leave the glove for this side, which does this side have a glove? Yes, it does. Okay, so hold on, go back. And that's still, well, that's not consistent with whatever it's trying to match up with over here. Aha, here you are. So it was trying to match up with the fence. So right now the problem with that is that this is already matched up. What is over here again? Flamingo. Now the problem is if I try to match this up, it might get confused on the other one, so this might become highly problematic. Nope, that's good, okay. So all we're looking for now is for this one over here to be happy. First off, match up the fork. And there we go, we got it. And all those combined to make a golden gnome. Thank you. All right, so another golden gnome collected. And with it, that is every single golden gnome in the Weirding Woods. We still have one more diamond gnome to find, so I have to hunt down that. I don't know where that would be, but we got no more gnomes, very cool. Maybe I should talk to the gnome guy uh, who is down this way. Maybe he'll give me a heads up on where the diamond gnomes are now. So after a lot of searching around, I'm pretty sure I've never been in this area over here, there is an opening. This has to be where the diamond gnome is. I've been searching around a lot and this is the only area I'm like, okay, I'm pretty sure I haven't been here. And, oh, it's very dusty. This is looking very diamond gnome area-ish. It's very big and opened up. 
A Nomolith has appeared, but where? Right here. So what is this about? Um, feed Nomolith 10 marshmallows. Uh, oh gosh, greater Nomolith, greater Nomolith. It's a bomber night. Okay, attack him for right now, oh gosh. The bombs banish interlopers. Are we interloping? I hope not. So with this one, I guess I just gotta keep away with him, get keep away from him, or the bombs, as much as I possibly can. So far, not too bad, actually. Oh, okay, but then he starts shooting at us. That's when it becomes complicated. So they're trying to get to me, and they're trying for sure, but will they succeed? Oh no, that's not gonna hit him, darn. I needed that to be a direct hit. We have four and a half minutes to do it, though. As long as we keep moving, this seems like it'd be fine. Okay, throw the smoke cloud on him. That's just free damage if it actually lands on him. Yeah, now, there it goes. Cool, cool, cool. These guys are a little bit close to me. More than I'd like. So let's just try to, oh no, you don't. Oh, okay, so it's not that they have to, got it, where are we? Why are we way over here? Come on, now I gotta rock all the way back. That's sort of lame. Um, so that makes sense. I was actually, I thought that you know we just couldn't get damaged by them. We can't, we can't let those guys explode at all. That's fine though, because my pacing was fine. I just had to pay attention a bit more to that fact. Thought I had more wiggle room, to be honest with you. So, I think that's quite doable. We'll run back out there right now. I have to dodge all of the mushrooms because I just don't want to deal with them. I think we'll stick with Soldier this time, but if bad things happen, then maybe next time I'll play as somebody else. I wouldn't mind trying uh, Super Brains with this. Okay, so ready, the first thing we'll do, feed you, and then as soon as you pop up, Bomber Knight, boom, gotcha. Oh, dodging you. And after all this, we're not done, of course. We're still gonna go against the Gnome Boss, I think, maybe? We'll have to see how much time we have left. I'm pretty sure we will, though. Um, oh no, oof, that hurt. Okay, how close are they? They're actually pretty far, they haven't even hopped down from that thing. And then I'm going to just hop over this way, away from them, turn around, boom, hit you with the ZPG again. And it's really just an extended game of keep away. Okay, a little too close, a little too close. I don't know where his friend went. It does get sincerely more difficult when they get separated. You just have to pay twice as much attention to it. And that's hard to do when you're, of course, trying to aim up with this guy. Okay, his friend's over there, but his other friend just hopped down there. So this is a great opportunity to do this. And then ZPG him, boom, nice. He's halfway down, one of them is there, and the other one's like way on the other side. So we have time, oh, don't get hit by the puncher. Okay, so. Is his friend over here? I think he is. Oh, actually, he's not. Where, oh, his friend's up there. Oh, no, the, the spinning top is coming for us. Come on, come on. Boom, that got you. Okay, one's here, where's the other guy? He's over here. That's fine, but that's exactly what I need to keep in mind. Okay. And then I'm going to jump across. Well, that was a little scary. Okay, let's take a quick check. Where are they? There's one down that way. And then the other one, is that the other one? Oh gosh, I don't know. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, please hit him, please hit him. Yes, okay, so they are both over here. They're both starting to sync up again, which is a great opportunity for us just to, to fire on him, maybe, if he would show up in the right spot. <laughs> okay, come on. I see one of them, where's the other? Okay, he's over here. So we're going to hop over this way. Make his job tough. Come on, come on. He's getting lower and lower in health. They're definitely making this complicated now. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Where are they? <laughs> you just really gotta go back and forth here. The only problem is I've lost track of one of them. One of them's there. Oh, you made a little friend. Probably shouldn't focus on you too much. No! No, wait, what was that? Was that him? No, that wasn't him, okay. I got so surprised there because I just didn't expect it to be him. Come on, come on, come on. It says he has more health here than he actually does. It's weird. Got him, okay, there we go. Greater Normal with complete, awesome. That was crazy. And that is gonna be our final diamond gnome. Thank you very much, wowie. So you know what? Yeah, we're gonna go and fight the, uh, the, the guy now.
<laughs> That'll be fun. So, um, what do we want to do? First off, we'll just warp home. It'll be slightly quicker. And we know that the place is over here. So we're gonna go to the gnome shrine and do all that. And hopefully it goes well. Yeah, it's very calming music still. It says to go that way, but we sort of have to go this way. But yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Definitely a challenge, but at least we got a couple of prize bulbs out of it. We're trying to earn up 20 in total for uh, the Food Fight's final prize, and I hope we can do that, I don't know. But I'm definitely putting the work in. So look at this. We should be able to open up both of these chests. Right here, we got this one on the left. And that is going to be Greed Eternal Punchers, very nice. And one more, we also get 50,000 coins. And then on the right, we get probably a victory slab. Yep, the Persnickety Vault uh, victory slab, along with another 50,000 coins. We just got 100,000 coins richer, that is fantastic. And that also means level six achieved. So what are we at? Um, 2,835,000 coins. And if we look at our Weirding Wood progress, 86% of the way complete, we are going to now go in here and beat up this guy. <laughs> uh, open the mysterious doors. Here we go. Oh man. Soldier looks ready, right? <laughs> he looks a little concerned. Maybe we should have done super brains. We'll have to wait and see. Um, all right. So let's get up this way. Whoa, look at this area. Electric electrified floors, steps of Gnomus. All right, here we are. Where's the Gnomus at? Oh my. Oh, ho, 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 it is a new gnome guy. This one is Sir Bath. He'll take you out of the picture. So just like Sir Biff. No, no, no. Where are you? You're over here. Ouch. So are you gonna be all that complicated? I think we really just need to point and shoot for this guy. The problem is that he's gonna do the same thing right back at us. So we do have to be careful. But while we, whoa, have the opportunity, I wanna try to fire him as much as I can. I already hear the jumping arounds of other gnomes. So taking them out would be optimal. Come on, go for ya. Oh, I tried to dodge it. I did not succeed. So that means we need to run. Just until we start healing up again. Okay, what is he? Oh, he's throwing the top at me. Get rid of the top. Get rid of the top. Okay, there are some platforms that are changing around. Ow, that electrified me. Got it. Okay, and we actually got somebody, I think. Okay, what is happening? Just gotta be careful. Trying to stay away from those electrified floors. While also trying to fight this guy off. Has not been proving easy. But he is like, one third of his health is down. Don't get hit by that, gosh darn it. I needed to start healing. Dodging that, no I didn't, come on. Come on, not cool. Okay, gotta pay attention to the force. Whenever I hear a ding like that, where are you going? Where did, where did he go? No, oh, he's here. Oh my gosh, that's scary. He's got the power of teleportation. Don't you dare, don't you dare, ready? Boom, ZPG time. Throw the smoke on the floor. That'll do some extra damage, at least a little bit. Ah, don't kick me, don't kick me, ow. No, this is worse than the molten cheese. Okay, come on. No, not the everything. Ah, no, <laughs> come on, I can't get away. Oh, darn. Okay, if I have to retry it, maybe I could change the super brains. I mean, I think it's fine as soldier, but I also want to try it as all star. Do I get the choice to change? No. Well, I could abandon the activity. I'll try one more time as soldier then and see how it goes. This is not easy. That is for sure. So let's get back out there. We'll skip the little animation whenever it happens because we've already seen it. Skip. Hold on. Uh, it's not letting me skip now. It gave me the option to skip. I tried to skip and it's like, nope. I take away that ability. Okay, Sir Baff, you gotta go down this time. Immediately hit with the ZPG. Throw the smoke cloud on you. Try to dodge a punch at the least. I gotta hit him directly because that does more damage. Oh man, oh man. I feel like we got a better start this time. That's for certain. I do not like that move. Come on, come on. 
Ah. So I might already have to play keep away with him. Because this is gonna happen, and it hurts. Oh gosh, I'm already about to be vanquished. Not good, not good. Go, go, go. Maybe it just yeah, it would be better a scientist because I'd be able to heal myself or something. Let's just run around like a maniac for right now until our healing starts. And that's working. It just takes a sweet time is the problem. Ah, uh, I hear him doing something. Okay, we're almost at full. Don't hit me! Oh, come on. Dude, get out of here. Okay, his health is a little bit lower. I like this music so far. Okay, this is where he teleports, which I really do not appreciate. Is he over there? He's not over there. He's over here, come on! <laughs> Stop with the super punch. I don't like it. Okay, he's not hitting us with that, is he? I guess he sort of did. Not the punch again, not the punch, I'm leaving. I am leaving. We need to just hang out and heal. Oh, he's teleporting again. Teleporting again, he's over there that time. I spotted you. I spotted you, I'm healing now, so just don't mess that up. Oh, I didn't get hurt there, thank goodness. Oh, there's, there's another top. I do not like the tops. I really don't like the tops. Got him? Yeah, okay. He's about halfway down, but then he punches me. Oh no, nope, not happening. Dude, you're kidding me, you're kidding me, come on. Get out of here, you little top. Okay, so he's halfway down. The fight feels like it's only just begun. Is there anybody around us? There's not. Okay, so it's just us right now. Boom, hit him with the ZPG. That did no damage, you're kidding me. Come on, I don't need that right now. Is there somebody from over here? I thought I saw some shots. Oh gosh, oh I tried to dodge those, but I couldn't. Throw the cloud at him. Oh, I, I still have it on cooldown, Never mind. Okay, am I on the panel that's gonna get electrocuted? I am not. Oh my gosh, I walked right into that one, not cool. Stop doing that, come on. Oh no, oh no. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Yep. Uh, don't get hit by that one, thank you. I actually did not, for once. My health is most of the way up. The problem, I don't have a ZPG to hit him with right now. So we need to back up a little bit. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Who's over here? You. Gotcha. Oh, is there another one? No, it's just you again. <laughs> all right, all right, don't teleport. Thank you for not teleporting. I at least appreciate that. It sounds like there's another gnome around, but there isn't. I don't think, what? What? Oh, now the drill is here to ruin me. Got it. No, 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 no. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Not until I heal, okay? Okay. No, come on, I was about to start healing too. You're the worst with that. No, running, running. The, the moment you look like you're about to start attacking, I just need to skedaddle. Because we're, we're healing now. I wanna keep it that way. And I know that you are the biggest stinker of all time. I can tell you that for a fact. Stop with this, okay? Okay. It just won't give up. It just won't give up. Get out of my face. Oh, that is the worst. Okay, so, so far so good. I've just been using All Star, putting up the shield when I need to. Sometimes people run in and ruin my parade like that. But for the most part, it gives me the opportunity to heal up, which is what I've been looking for. So, will that imp hit you whatsoever? I guess not. Okay, the drill's coming in. I got rid of that. This protects me against that evil punch of doom. And then you're going to teleport away because you can't handle it, but I can handle you now. And this shield's still holding up. This baby can take some damage. And I hope you can too, because you're gonna receive some. And that punch broke it, but that's fine, because now we have 10 seconds only to wait until our next one. Um, and in the meantime, I can do that. I can do this. Whole collection of different actions to do. I see you, I would like to get rid of you as soon as possible so that you don't ruin my fun with my, ah! Uh, wait! Uh, with the shield right there. Okay, he's way over here now. We can handle him. This is nice though. Oh no, that's not nice. Okay, we're fine, we're safe. The punch is coming in. 
I wish I could just shoot away the punch. That'd be great. Oh no, here we go again. Okay, this time it's sort of inverted to what it was last time. So I can't quite reach him from here, but I can still just keep attacking. And then drill comes in. Tackle the drill, that's the only solution. Okay, oh no, oh no. Shield's ready again. The problem is the platforms being really obnoxious at this point. There we go. Come on, just keep getting him. Oh, that didn't get me. Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> that got him. Oh no, oh no, ready? Tackle him, and that's too late. So my shield has gone away. Ran out of time for that one. I don't know where to go. Okay, over here, fine. We're so close to getting him. Please don't get taken out. Shield, shield now. And then go for him. Go, 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 come on! Yes! Oh my gosh, we did it. The Gnome Knight falls. See you, Mr. Gnome Knight. 10,000 coins granted for that. Sir Bath vanquished. Quest complete. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we gotta go and talk to the gnome in the telephone booth now. He's gonna be thrilled. Two down, one to go uh, in uh, Mount Steep. The phone is ringing. Okay, so we're gonna go to the phone now because I don't have any more gnomes to worry about. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So we'll run back to the phone booth now and see what he's saying. So here's the phone booth. Doesn't sound like it's, okay, there it goes. There it's ringing. I was about to judge it for not ringing. Vengeance is mine! <laughs> Sorry, I get a bit excited. It'll be a long time before any gnome takes an embarrassing photo of any other cool gnome. As promised, here is your ribaldy reward, thanks! Drats, I should have asked you to snap a photo. That would have made a great shirt. Okay, so as you can see, we got the Gnomish Floaty Universal hat. That one's cool. So let's go ahead and equip that right now. We got 50,000 coins. That's good as well. So we've gone over 150,000 coins in today's episode alone. Pretty productive. Um, but also, we'll go ahead and just switch to that right now, just for the fun of it. Um, that should be where? Oh, right here, right here. I like it, the Gnomish Floaty. It's a little off center. Huh. Uh, it's very cool looking though. Will like bobble around a little bit? Nope, it is just permanently off center. Weird. Um, so yeah, that's sort of about all I wanted to do for today's episode. The last thing I want to do is go to the shop and see what I can spend my marshmallows on. I know I can't do everything because we still have to earn medals, which we'll do in the next time we're at the Weirding Woods, but you're very close to 100% completing everything, which is awesome. So, over this way we can afford the safari glasses for the foot soldier. Um, which is part of the uh, Super Safari set. And then the final piece of the Super Safari set is right here, it is the Super Safari hat. For another 125 marshmallows, we have 1,007 left over and we can afford this one. This is Team Woofy, the super rare all-star costume. Uh, and that is 300 marshmallows, pretty cool. So that means that we have, oh no, one more left. What was that? I wanted to see what it was. <laughs> we'll get this at some point, we just have to get all the medals done. I'll have to have like a metal grinding episode. Uh, this is Dummy Cultist. Oh yeah, that's the guy over there, okay. Uh, dedicated to dumb dumbness, a dummy makes you feel in your head part. So that's only what, 500. So I could, if I wanted to, to celebrate, I don't, I also need to get the Audi Logs, which I hope I can just find those on their own so I don't have to spend this, so we can spend, I could spend 200 mu mush marshmallows, not mushrooms, right here, so that'd be four. And that's 6,000 coins. I don't know if that's exactly worth I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay, let's do this. One, so that'll be like, what? 24,000 coins? That's not too bad. Do that again, just like that. And one more time. There we go, so we have an, exactly enough to buy the, the dummy cultist whenever we do that. But yeah, that's definitely a, a grinding strategy I recommend. Going and doing the bounty hunt against the, the, the three sunflower, solar sunflowers, uh, as super brains, punch them out and just do that over and over again. You earn up marshmallows very quickly and then you can exchange them for uh, for coins. And then you know you get a lot of coins. We're almost at three million! I'm gonna be spending three million coins in the spending spree on the 100th episode. That's coming up super soon. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Gnome. So now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.